Ah, uh, yeah, sorry guys, I mixed up my triangles. Thank you. I mixed up my isosceles triangles. Yeah, sorry. So, um, it's not a hundred. So, um, we know that this one here is 90. And if that's 40 and that's 90, that's 50. Um, and it's triangle ABD is isosceles. So this angle here is the same as this angle here. Um, I know that that is 130. Um, Um, that's also 130. A, B, D is isosceles. A, B, D is isosceles. So, Oh, yeah, A, B, D is isosceles, and if, and that's the diameter, and that's 90, that has to be 45. Yeah, so it's 5 there, and um, it means that guy up there has to be 5 as well, because if that's 5 and that's 130, that's... That has to be 45, which means that has to be 45. So that, that's why that's five. So yeah, it's 95, sorry, not not 100. Thank you, thank you. Um, I can't really do this one right now on the computer. And uh, this last one here is a proof that I, uh, I can post later, but it's the proof that says that if this angle is acute, the uh, circumcenter is inside the triangle. If it's right angled, it's on the, hypotenuse and if it's obtuse it's outside it so thanks for catching that mistake